instead of howling at the moon, he shoots at it. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider 01DX Aims a Shot Riser. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at up front here, we have the Shot Riser, we have a Kamen Rider Vulcan, we have the included progress key on this side of the box we have a Vulcan, on the other side of the box we have just the rest of the pictures, aims, things, stuff, shot riser on the top, shot riser, we have a Vulcan again on the bottom, Vulcan, shot riser, on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other, things, and stuff, warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you, and we have Sad Pac-Man, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Ames Shot Riser, and this is the transformation device for Common Rider Vulcan and Common Rider Valkyrie. But before we take a look at the gun, let's come down here and take a look at the included progress key. And this is the Shooting Wolf progress key. This is what Vulcan uses to transform. This is his main henchening progress key. And you can see Shooting Wolf ability bullets. They have a little wolf symbol right there, on the front done in that nice smoky transparent black, also done in a very nice shade of blue. And the back, you got some nice detail going on. You got a QR code, you wanna scan it? Free scan on me, you're welcome. And your battery compartment is right back here with Sad Pac-Man, just molded on it forever in shame. The speaker is right here, your activation button is right up top, and when we open up the key, we have a little Robo skeletal wolf right there with uh, bullets in its stomach. Yeah, yeah. And you can see a little wolf symbol right there as well. I like these little images here. They're pretty. They're pretty cool. A little freaky, but kind of cool at the same time. So there you have that. And now let's get down to the noises. So push the button, and we get. And push it again. And there you have that. So, without further ado, let's bring in the Zero One driver and our friend the Rider Can, because if the Rider Can, you can. So, let's get down to it. So you have that, and then we'll do our attack. And now we're going to do the scan with the second key, and we're just going to go straight to the end. And that's what it does in the Zero One Driver. So there you go. And now let's bring in the Atash Kaliba. So that is it for now for the progress key, but now let's get down to the main event of the evening, the Ames Shot Riser. And again, this is the transformation device for Vulcan and Valkyrie, and this is pretty cool. I like this. I love the design of it too. I think this looks really, really cool. I love the nice metallic blue that they use as well as the nice metallic red here. Just really pops. The rest of it just done 
and a nice glossy black. You have a little windshield there, so you can see the progress key when it is installed. We also have this section here, untransparent plastic. We're going to get some lights going off in there. And there you have the barrel. And just some nice little design cues here and there. And your on-off switch is right here. Your speaker is right here. Battery compartment is right here. It takes two AAAs, which are not included. You'll have to get those yourself. Oh no, I do quite like the design of this. It's a nice size too, you know, for being, you know, little kid's gun. You know, hey, it works. I think this is not too far off from how big it is on the show. So not too bad. It's a nice size. It's actually pretty, uh, it actually is pretty twirlable too. It is nicely balanced. You can get a good twirl going. So I like that. So, hey, I like a nice twirlable gun, but there you go. So let's get down to the noises. So again, your on off switch is right here. Turn it on and you get. Tells you what it is in case you already forgot. You can see a nice bright LED that goes off in there and we pull the trigger. Get a pew pew and a bang bang. And you can see that light goes off in there every time you pull the trigger. You can rapid fire that. And you got that going on. So now let's get down to the tensioning. So first thing as always you want to do is push the button up top. Then open it up. Insert the progress key. And pull the trigger, and... Hasten! And there you go. You have now transformed into Kamen Rider Vulcan. You can see the wolf symbol there. It stays lit up for a little bit. The one thing that does suck a little bit is that the noises that are coming out of the gun kind of drown out the little phrase at the end of the henshin sequence. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. It is what it is. And when you pull the trigger. Get a different pew pew and bang bang. More powerful sounding pew and bang. So you got that, and to do your final attack, you push the button on the progress key. And pull the trigger. Explosions and things happen because it's awesome. And there you go. Now, once you have a progress key inserted into the gun, you cannot just pull it out. It is locked in there, so don't just yank it out. Otherwise, you're gonna break something. The release button is right up top, so you just push that down. And you can extract the progress key. So, there you have that. So now, let's get down to our other keys here. Let's bring in Rising Hopper. Bang bang. And last but not least, Flying Falcon. And the attack. Wait. 
So there you have that. Now the shot riser does have a belt strap. You can wear it as a standard driver here. We'll take a look at this buckle section here. You can see you got some nice details going on there. Of course you have the belt parts since it is a belt. That little piece in the back there to hold your slack. I believe this is the piece off of the uh, Sengoku driver, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is Sengoku driver's back piece, but yeah. Got that going on. And as usual, this is meant to fit a little kid's waist, but as always, there are ways to modify this, belt extensions, yada, yada, yada. There are ways to make it if you want to wear it on your adult waist. But there it is. So without further ado, let's bring our friend the Rider Can back for his second appearance on the show today. And we can take the Ames Shot Riser, and this rail section will just slide right in right here. And... <laughs> Yeah, a little confirmation noise when it's locked into place. And there you have the shot riser on the belt. And that's how that works. And there is no button to push or anything. You just pull it out to extract it. Makes a little confirmation noise again. And that is how that works. And we can henshin with the shot riser attached to the belt. So now we'll show that off. that and we can also do our attack from here explosions and things happen because it's awesome and with the gun attached to the belt you get some fever with it so that's pretty cool so you have shooting wolf and another way you can do this too, and it's the way that Valkyrie uh, does her transformation, you can see this part of the shot riser is open right here. So when you plug the progress key, you can plug it in closed if you want. Well, let me do that first. And then you can open it. He's got a fever, and the only cure is more hopping. That made no sense. Anyway, <laughs> Flying Falcon. And just one more quick thing, let's see what happens when you insert the progress key without pushing the button first. It actually works a little better this way because you can actually hear the phrase at the end because the gun noises aren't drowning it out, but it's not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it by pushing the button first. That way you authorize it. So, you know, just depends what you want to do there. 
So there you have the Ames Shot Riser, and I like this thing. I really like it. I love the look of it. I love the functionality of it. This thing is fun. This thing is fun. I definitely approve, so. There you go. Now, there are many sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Zero One playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. Don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the common writer 01 DX Ames Shot Riser. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, home in your face.